Now, Thank you. we have to talk about this pro-life ad, this, yes, this yes. Uh, Super Bowl ad. Tim Tebow and his mother just talking about the choice of life. Yeah. Why do you think it stirred up such a hornet's nest? Well, I guess it means that the pro-choice people are not pro-choice if the choice is life. Right. And uh, limit your choices. Yeah, limit your choices to yeah. to ours. Yeah. I, I want to I want to roll this clip of Tim Tebow reacting to this controversy. Here's what he had to say this week. I've always been very convicted of it. One, and that's the reason I'm here. Uh, is because my mom is a very courageous woman. Some people won't agree with it, you know, but I think they can at least um, respect that that I stand up for what I believe. Do you think the controversy here is much ado about nothing? Um, I, I think it's great because now more people are going to uh, watch this ad. Mm -hmm. It's going to have a viral existence on YouTube and all the other places. So I think it's really great. But of course it is. And it really, you know, points out that the people who claim to be pro-choice are not. Well, the, the thing that struck me as I was reflecting on this this past week, let's remember Janet Jackson's costume malfunction, right, right. Uh, the the uh, erectile dysfunction <laughs> ads that run during the Super Bowl, the Victoria's Secret right, models running right. around with footballs. The, this gets nary a word of complaint, right, but right. we're going to worry about a, a, a football player and his mom right. talking about life? This, this is a problem? Yeah, the exploitation of women, the exploitation of sex, all of this preoccupation. And, and this is a charming, wonderful story that should be affirmed uh, and will be affirmed, I think, by most of the people watching. They're worried because my guess is this ad is going to be very, be very powerful and draw I men and women so. to think about this issue. In I a certainly new way. hope so.